Hello. Smallish update again. I'm uh, doubting myself. So I have these ball screws. They are uh, 20 millimeters thick and two meters long. It's well. When I bought them, I already thought mm, screw whipping might be a big problem. So when this uh, ball screw, which is very long, turns, it has inertia. So if there is only like a tiny bit of, well, not straight, being not straight, it will go out of control. It's called whipping or ball screw whipping or screw whipping or whatever. That's one thing. But the major thing actually is... Uh, I'll have to take you over here and show you. So the end caps work right now, but so here is a screw. I'll put it on. It has a the grease nipple, and this time I want to be able to grease all my fucking linear stuff and ball screw, whatever's. I need to grease stuff this time and I don't want to disassemble the whole machine just to grease it which my current machine has on at least one axis now let's say we have this thing here Oop. it doesn't fit it cannot move properly with this fitting so I, re I removed this whole thing here, which is not very nice. Or I thought, well, uh, this one is fucked right now, but there is a, well, I'll show it on the original. So the fitting is here. This hole runs uh, from, oh, from here to there, like to the races. So what I thought, the screw thread is around until here and I um, drill a hole in here, tap it and put the connector here and, and you know, seal this one. Now the problem is this is hardened. So so my, um, what is it, pointer or what? It, what is it like uh, making a dent to drill did not do a thing at all. My drills did not do a thing either. So the only thing I could think of is using a grinding disc because there is no way I'm, I'm able to drill this. And this is not working either. This is a dumb place to have it, at least with this kind of profile. So I did ask Felder if they maybe, how they did it, or if they ever did it. I had no reply yet, so I guess they never try to add a grease nipple to the ball screw but the problem is if I you know make the whole machine there is no way I can get to that nipple if it was at the front I might be able to get there with a hole somewhere in the other part that's gonna be sitting on here as it is now it will run around uh, against this piece I could machine or yeah, I could either machine this as a, this away, or you say a grinder, which is not very nice. Might be able to just put it on the CNC machine, uh, CNC this away, then move the part over and do it again. Uh, that might be an option. But whoop, ooh, almost lost my <laughs> lost my balls. As you can see. Uh, I have to remove quite a bit. I don't know what it does to the structural thing. Maybe not that much. Ah, when I think of it, that might be the best option. Because I did butcher this one. Like cutting away, cutting away this piece, making room for the grease nipple. And then only machine a tiny bit here where it can line up so I can grease it and then it can move along again 
but that didn't work. Reason why is that the screw thread or the thread is not as deep as I thought it would be. And there is no way of threading this because it's hardened. So yeah. Oh, and then I decided to um, remove the plastic piece and all the balls fell out. And now I feel like I could rebuild this but it sucks. I'd rather buy a new one. I mean, yeah, 20 euros, 25 euros, I don't know. I'd rather do that than dick around with this one. So, I fucked up a little bit here and there. And then I'm still having trouble with a ball screw 20 millimeters in diameter. In this kind of length, two meters, I think I, I'm not able to get any high speed without getting loads of width. There's only one way of trying that is by just doing it. So I fucked up one ball screw, so I probably will put in the, the other ball screw. We do some tests, see how fast I can move it. If I cannot get any more than uh, 4,000 millimeters a minute or 5,000, I might have to think of not using a ball screw, which is kind of stupid. I did not buy these for this thing. I had these already, but on the other hand, I bought this because this will fit in nicely. And now I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this, so now this is kind of useless if I decide not to use the ball screw. Because there are better options if I want to use rack and pinion, for instance. <gasps> Helical rack and pinion. With this, we can go fast. It's maybe not as accurate as a ball screw, but for the things I do, or want to make with this, um, speed is more important for plotting, I guess, and for wood, it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna machine aluminium on this, although it's built a bit. You know, like a tank, which is not needed either, but... But, uh, yeah, I have no way of putting this somewhere that it works, I think. This will not work. This might not work, because then the pinion is over here. Then you have this contraption hanging on it. It should be like this. Uh, this would be the bottom side in this case so now it's on top but it should be like flipped over but yeah screw holes are here so I don't know do I have to use a U channel or a L bracket or I don't know I don't even know if I have to use this but I'm making it very hard for myself because I doubt my idea, which I often do. So I probably I should start with testing the ball screw, how high of um, speed we can get. And then still I have to think of something for the grease nipple. And since this is hardened, I think the best option would be getting rid of this ridge all along here not completely but maybe one centimeter I can do this on my old machine it doesn't fit on there there but do it in like three stages or something yeah small update yeah, I don't know what to do. Maybe people have some good ideas. I'm so worried now about the whip. All of a sudden, I should have worried about it like a month ago. The reason why I bought actually 
<sighs> the previous ball screws that are uh, 20 millimeter pitch, which will work because the ball screw turns really slow. This one needs to turn quite fast to uh, achieve 5,000 5, millimeters a minute. Yeah. So, what are your dares? Go for this, or of course, best idea is just test it. Doesn't work, change the thing. I'm pretty good in wasting money, that's for sure. See you later. I do have a lot of stuff that I'm not going to use ever. So that's the thing. See ya.